Hello everyone, this is Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library, and this is Rockin' Storytime, which happens every Tuesday at 10.30. Uh, today is my first day back from maternity leave, and I'm so excited to spend it singing and dancing with you. Let's start off by warming up our upper body with some clapping. Can everyone at home give a clap? Can you give a clap? Maybe we're gonna clap up high? <laughs> Down low? All the way around. Good job. All right, ready? We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Good job, everyone. Now let's warm up our lower bodies with some stomping. Let's see, we'll back up a little bit. Give a little stomp. Can you stomp in a circle? Can you stomp just your right foot? Stomp, stomp. Just your left foot? Stomp, stomp. All right, ready? We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Good job, everyone. That was great. Today, we're going to be singing some songs and reading two books about dinosaurs. When I was little, my favorite dinosaur was the Triceratops with its three horns. Another good one is the Brachiosaurus with its long tail and its long neck or the T-Rex with its short arms. What's your favorite? Do you have one? Uh, we are going to be using that as today's word. So if you could say with me, dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur with me at home? Dinosaur, 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 dinosaur. That's our word and that's the word we'll be using for bread and butter, our weekly rhyme. And for that, you're gonna put your hands, you can't see, but I'm putting my hands on my knees and then clap. We're gonna just do that. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say dinosaur as fast as we can. Dinosaur, dinosaur. Can you say it at home too? Dinosaur, 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 dinosaur. dinosaur. It gets harder the longer you do it. All right, let's try another one. You ready? Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say dinosaur as slowly as we can. Dinosaur. Good job. It's always more fun when the word is longer. Let's try it again. Ready? Dinosaur. Good job, everyone. All right, let's do another. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say dinosaur as loud as we can. Dinosaur. Good job. All right, one more. Are we ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say dinosaur as quiet as we can. Dinosaur. Good job. All right, we're ready for our first dinosaur story today, which is We Don't Eat Our Classmates, which is by main author and illustrator Ryan T. Higgins. Let's get started. Oh, and there's a little warning at the beginning. This is our main character. She says, hey kids, you will never be eaten by a T-Rex. They're extinct, I promise. So don't worry. They're not actually going to be eating any classmates in real life. Here we go. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day a little T-Rex starts school. What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was a very important question. Penelope's mom bought her a new backpack with ponies on it. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies were delicious. Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches and one apple juice. Finally, the big day came and Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that all her classmates were children. So she ate them because children are delicious. Penelope Rex, said Mrs. Noodleman, we do not eat our classmates. 
please spit them out at once. So she did. Oh, look, they're all covered in spit. Ooh. It was not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope was determined to have a good first day. She tried hard to make friends at recess. Uh-oh, what's she doing? She trying to eat her classmates again? She finger painted some of her best work. I don't know if you can see this here, but she actually has drawn her eating someone else. That's not helping. She even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. You can sit here. Hmm, would you want to sit near her after all that? I don't think I would. Penelope started to notice everyone was making friends but her. It was lonely. Look how sad she is. Poor Penelope. When she got home, her dad asked about her first day of school. I didn't make any friends, Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Penelope Rex, her father asked. Did you eat your classmates? Well, maybe. Sort of. Just a little. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad, especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are the same as us on the inside, just tastier. That gave Penelope a lot to think about. Oh, look, there she is going to bed with her little stuffy. The next day, Penelope tried really hard. But poor Penelope, she could not stop herself from eating her classmates. Oh, uh, Mrs. Noodleman! Penelope ate William Amodo again. Oh, and they were all afraid of her. And look, poor William Amodo. Look, ah, running away. This is not helping. Everyone except Walter. Walter was a goldfish. So Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? Asked Penelope. <gasps> Jump! <gasps> Cried Penelope. He's eating my finger. Wah! Oh no. Once Penelope found out what it was like to be someone's snack, she lost her appetite for children. Whew. She saw what it was like for someone else to bite her. No one likes to be bitten. Mm -mm. She stopped eating her classmates. Oh. Even when Cece Woodward spilled barbecue sauce all over herself. Mm, I bet she smelled really good. And soon... Penelope made friends. Found you. Want a brownie? I helped make them. Now, even when children look especially delicious, she peeks at Walter and remembers what it's like when someone tries to eat you. And Walter the goldfish stares right back and licks his lips. <gasps> because dinosaurs are delicious. The end. That's a great one. Thanks for listening, everyone. That was great listening. And I have a dinosaur song to teach you. It's called the Dino Ditty. And I'm gonna need everyone at home to help me keep a beat. Can you keep a beat either on your legs or on your hands up here? And I think you might recognize the tune. It goes like this. Dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Do you think you can do that at home? 
All right, here it goes. A hungry dino walking down the street, singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Now, can you look like this, like you're trying to look for something? Looking for something good to eat, singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Good job. Now, this part, I'm going to say something and you're going to repeat it back. Can you do that? He's big. Can you do that with me? He's big. Good job. He's strong. He's strong. Won't be hungry very long. Good job. That's great. Dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. And that's the whole thing. Great job, everyone. Okay, let's do that one more time all the way through. Here we go. A hungry dino walking down the street singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Looking for something good to eat singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Now this is the repeat part. Ready? He's big. He's big. He's strong. He's strong. Won't be hungry very long. Dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Great job, everyone. Nice job learning a new song. All right, now we're going to do a dance. The regulars from my story time are going to recognize this. This is the hot potato song. This is the hot potato song. And it is by the Wiggles. And if you want to dance to it later, the Wiggles have a YouTube video of themselves performing this. So you can do that at home later as well. So this is hot potato. Hot potato starts out by doing this with your hands. That's hot potato. And then we're going to do cold spaghetti, which is lots of fingers. Cold spaghetti. And then mashed banana. All right, you're ready. Here we go. Potato, hot potato. Hot potato, hot potato. Hot potato, hot potato. Potato. Potato, potato, potato. Now cold spaghetti. Cold spaghetti, cold spaghetti. Cold spaghetti, cold spaghetti. Spaghetti, spaghetti. Spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. Now we're gonna jump together. Ready? Jump! Jump! And dance. And jump! Jump! And dance. Now mash banana. Good job. Mash banana, mash banana. Mash banana, mash banana. Banana. Banana, banana, banana. We're gonna jump again. Ready? Jump! Jump! And dance. And jump! Jump! And dance. Hot potato, hot potato. Hot potato, hot potato. Hot potato, hot potato. Potato. Potato, potato, potato. Yeah! Good job, everyone. That was great. All right. Let's read our last story together. It is called Dino Dance, and it is written and illustrated by Sandra Boynton. Here we are. Zang, bop, kiddly pow, the dinosaur dance is starting now. The blue stegosaurus goes shimmy, shimmy, shake, shimmy, shimmy, shake. And the red brontosaurus goes quivery quick, a quivery quick. Triceratops goes tappity tap, a tappity tap. And the pterodactyl goes flap, 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 flap. Can you give a flap? Flap, 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 flap. Good job. Now, remember, the pterodactyl isn't actually a dinosaur, but it was around at the same time. Tiny little dino goes deedly dee, a deedly dee. I don't know his name. What could it be? What could it be? Velociraptor twins go bumpity bump, a bumpity bump, and Tyrannosaurus rex go stomp, 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 stomp. Iguanodon goes da bibbidi da, da bibbidi da. That's my favorite. And tiny little dino goes cha cha cha, a cha cha cha. Yes, the tiny little dino goes cha cha cha. 
Now everybody wants to try cha-cha-cha. A cha-cha-cha. A cha-cha-cha. Good listening, everyone. That was great. Nice job. I have one more dino rhyme for us to try out. Another one that I think you'll recognize the tune to. All right. It goes like this. Twinkle, twinkle, dinosaur, letting out a great big roar. Can you give a roar? Roar. Roar. Good job. All right, here we go. When he eats, it's chomp, chomp, chomp. Can you give a chomp with your hands? Chomp, chomp, chomp. Good job. When he walks, it's clomp, clomp, clomp. Can you do that with me? When he eats, it's clomp, clomp, clomp. Good job. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, dinosaur, letting out a great big roar. Nice job. All right, let's do that one again now that we know. And let's pretend to be a dinosaur. Maybe we could pretend to be a T-Rex. We do it with little arms. All right, here we go. Twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, dinosaur, letting out a great big roar. Good job. <laughs> when he eats, it's chomp, chomp, chomp. When he walks, it's clomp, clomp, clomp. Twinkle, twinkle, dinosaur, letting out a great big roar. Good job, everyone. Nice job learning a new song. All right, let's end with a whole wheel wiggle for our whole body. Let's do head, shoulders, knees, and toes. All right, I think we're ready. Let's see if I can get my whole body in there. There we go. Let's start with our head. Can everyone touch their head? Can you find your head? Where's your head? Right here. Head and our shoulders. Can you touch your shoulders? Good job. Knees, can you touch your knee? Nice. And toes, can you touch your toes? Toe, 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 toe. All right, here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Eyes, can you find your eyes? Good job. And ears, where are your ears? Nice. And mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Good job. Let's do that one more time to end off story time. And let's do it a little bit quicker. Here we go, ready? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great job, everyone. Thank you for coming today. This has been Rock and Story Time with Miss Katie, and we'll have another one next week. See you then. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes.